A servant corps member in Iru LCDA Lagos has empowered 40 youth in her skill acquisition program. The areas of focus were fashion designing, hairdressing, barbing, makeup arts and the like. It was a week training for the participants. Plus TV Africa's correspondent Destiny Momo has more. Economic realities and the challenges of the work world now demand more than academic knowledge. Our team in unemployed youth can certainly change their fortunes with marketable skills. Perhaps this was the motivation for Janice Akobaro, a serving co-member in Lagos, to embark on skill acquisition training for youth as her personal project. In all, 40 participants were taken through different trainings for a week. Fashion designing, makeup artistry, hairdressing, barbing were some of the areas of focus. Um, I'm so honored that I can actually make this great impact into the lives of my fellow youths. At this graduation ceremony, beneficiaries were grateful for knowledge received in skill acquisition. I will say a big thank you to Janice Sapobaro for all the good things she has been doing for us. I'm so happy for this training since right from the day one of this acquisition skills. The NYSC state coordinator and others were impressed by this move from a serving co-member. It is what you have learned here and you impart in yourself and you work it out for yourself. These days there is no white collar. These are the things that are excelling. I recognize Ms. Janice Akpobaro, an alumnus of the college. She graduated in the Department of Food Technology and currently is serving a national <laughs> nation. Joy that we are witnessing this epoch-making event, which is coming from a art that considered the needs of people in the society. Janice Akpobaro and other facilitators spoke on the importance of this journey and her personal gain in acquiring a skill so early in life. When I was in Yaba Tech, I was also using my skill to make money for myself. Putting all my best to, to their makeup. I didn't only to their makeup, I introduced them to products and I also taught them how to tie gele perfectly. After I finished teaching this person bridal hair styling, she taught other students. I went to Oniru community and I also went to Boni camp. That was where I was able to meet them. And then I spoke to them about this project. Where, and they were so interested. In fact, a lot of them were not even in school. Like some, some were actually dropouts. That's what I mean. And then some actually came from the north. Invariably, these beneficiaries have been set on a path to self-reliance. Hopefully, they'll continue to hone these skills to carve a niche for themselves in their future endeavors. Destiny Mama, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.